All right. Welcome to Defenders Voice. I'm Dr. Paul. Thank you for joining us today. I would like to answer COVID vaccines in India. Okay, this question from Prem Kumar Manasa. Uh, Prem, I'm sorry, like uh, I took so long to answer this question. I did not want to uh, keep you waiting, but unfortunately, uh, I took this uh, this many days because. Uh, these days I became very busy. Every day like uh, 14 hours I'm spending uh, with the patients, with COVID patients and uh, patients with other medical problems. So I go around uh, 6 o'clock in the morning and now I'm going back to home around 8 o'clock. So that's the reason I'm not uh, up to date with your questions. So today I want to address your question that is COVID vaccines in India. So the struggles with these new variants are going on and all over the world with the new variant of Omicron as it surfaced in South Africa. Uh, new studies have conducted in uh, Germany Sweden and South Africa. All three studies have shown that this new variant can neutralize antibodies. As many as 90% uh, uh, to 50% it neutralizes, it blocks the antibodies. You might say then what is the use of the vaccine? I say vaccine is still useful, especially uh, a new study has shown with the Pfizer vaccine, a booster dose will actually give you protection against uh, this Omicron variant. So as the new variants uh, come and go, uh, I think the best approach is, uh, is to keep yourself uh, immunized with these uh, vaccines and their booster doses. Now the science, you asked about can we trust these uh, COVID vaccines produced by Heathen. I understand that as Hindus. Now science is science no matter who practices it whether it is uh, a Christian or a Jew or a Muslim or a Hindu or an atheist, it doesn't matter. Science is a science. Science operates on certain absolute laws. Okay? As Christians, we should uphold science because Christians invented scientific method. Okay? That's very important to remember. It's not the Jews. It's not the Muslims, it's not the Hindus or Buddhists or Jains or atheists. It's Christians in Western Europe who invented scientific method. And science is about realities. Reality is knowable. Reality, we can understand reality by using our God-given faculties. So reality is knowable. That is the uh, presuppositional belief that went into the foundation of science which is borrowed from Judaism and Christianity okay so scientific method is uh, is a good thing and we should believe scientific inventions and no matter who does it it is like a plane okay if you are uh, taking a plane from Delhi to New York City it doesn't matter who is the pilot. It could be a Hindu or a Muslim or a Christian. Uh, it all depends on his skills. And uh, is the pilot is the pilot capable of uh, flying this uh, uh, Boeing? That's what you look into. In the same way, we have to see whether is this scientist capable of producing an efficient 
vaccine? Did he understand the science behind this vaccine? So what are the studies? What is the quality of this vaccine? And also uh, what is the scientific evidence to prove the efficacy of this vaccine? Uh, did you do any studies? Did you publish any data? And uh, what is the confidence interval of this data? So we look into those medical statistics to establish the efficacy of a vaccine. So I would say, don't worry about religion of these scientists. Look at their work, look at the quality of their scientific research, look at the data they are producing, and uh, go based on that data, okay? Now, you asked about the vaccines, COVID vaccines in India. In India, uh, we have like five vaccines for COVID. Number one, COVID Shield. Number two, Covaxin. Number three, Sputnik V. And number four, Johnson and Johnson COVID vaccine. And number five, uh, Zycovid, uh, that is produced by Zydus Cadilla Company. So these five vaccines are available in India, but most uh, common vaccines are COVID Shield and Covaxin. COVID Shield is produced by Serum Institute of India, based in uh, Pune. Okay, so. It is actually the largest vaccine maker in the world. That's interesting. So India uh, is producing most of the world's vaccines right now. This uh, Serum Institute in uh, Pune, it produces like 25 million vaccines every month. Think of that. That's almost like 10 million a day. So that just boggles my mind. How can you produce 10 million vaccines in one facility? But Serum Institute of India is producing that. These vaccines are uh, going all over the world. And uh, they are approved by WHO. Many of those vaccines are coming to the United States and many other Western European countries. And FDA goes there and looks and, uh, at their data and at that facility. So I would believe COVID shield vaccine. And I heard that uh, uh, it is, uh, its scientific data also has shown that it is effective. Then Covaxin is produced by Bharat Biotech in Hyderabad. Covaxin also shown to be a good vaccine. I heard it has like a 64% effectiveness in asymptomatic cases, 78% in symptomatic cases, and also 93% in severe infection. So if somebody has severe infection, it is 93% effective. So I would say that's a good vaccine. So Covaxin is also uh, authorized by World Health Organization, emergency use authorization. So these two vaccines are good vaccines. Then Sputnik V shown to be good in Russian studies. Johnson & Johnson, AstraZeneca vaccine shown to be good. And then Jairus Cadilla, they did a study in 50 centers. And uh, it also produced uh, good results. It's a plasmid vaccine given in three doses. So COVID shield is given in two doses, 84 days apart. Covaxin is given in two doses, 28 days apart. So we need to achieve more vaccination rate. Okay. In South Africa, they have like 25% of people fully vaccinated. India is not that great. Only 28% of people are fully vaccinated. 
only 55% of people got even one vaccine. So India is a vast country, but in some places they are achieving great results. For example, in Kerala, uh, they achieved like 95% vaccination rate in some places like uh, Ernakulam, Kurnur district, Patanam Teta, they achieved actually 100% vaccination rates. Kerala's health minister, Vena George, a Christian leader, okay, she is doing a great job in uh, distributing these uh, COVID vaccines in that state. So Kerala became like a yardstick for uh, uh, health care in India. Uh, not only in COVID, but in many other diseases. So, if you improve these vaccination rates, India will definitely do a better job. And we have seen how pathetic we did in the last wave, okay? I mean, all those disturbing images when people did not have uh, enough oxygen cylinders, there were no hospital beds for the people and there was no place in mortuary dead bodies were thrown into ganges river and people burning these dead bodies on the road sites it was like an ap apocalypse last time okay so in order to prevent that we need to vaccinate as many people as we can. We have to uh, produce oxygen plants. We have to improve the bed capacity, okay? For example, I improved bed capacity in my facility. So if people come to my facility, I have beds ready, I have oxygen cylinders ready, I have masks ready. So you need to get ready for the next big outbreak. And some of the hospitals here in Pennsylvania, they already reached the, to the brim, okay? So with almost like uh, 65, 70% vaccination rates in the United States, the situation is like this. Imagine how it could be in India with just 28% of people fully vaccinated. So there is a long way to go. So succinctly, I would say, go ahead and take one of these vaccines. Vaccine hesitancy is badly hurting uh, our response to this virus, okay? So Covishield is a good vaccine uh, produced by Serum Institute of India and Covaxin is a good vaccine produced by Bharat Biotech. So both vaccines I highly recommend. Studies were published in the Lancet, a very prestigious medical journal coming out of England. And uh, this uh, study has shown that both vaccines are producing antibodies effective against uh, this virus. Now, in the United States, we have Pfizer vaccine, Moderna vaccine, and uh, I would say Indian vaccines are not as great as these vaccines. The reason I'm saying that is uh, there is not much data on Indian vaccines compared to the American vaccines. That's the only reason I'm saying that. Like uh, they may be equally effective like these vaccines, but Based on the data, we have more data on these vaccines and we can say uh, certain things more uh, positively about these vaccines. So no matter what, I would say, please go ahead and take one of these vaccines and protect yourself against this COVID virus. Okay, folks, thank you so much. If you have any more questions about COVID, uh, please send me an email, my email info at drpaul.org. And uh, that's my answer to your question. Hopefully I answered at least a little bit of your questions, okay? Thank you, post your comments, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, God bless you.